Showtime, baby. Of course, graffiti. I mean, I'm, I'm a graffiti artist and um, I'm not a street artist. I'm doing letters, most of the time my four letters, so I, I don't see myself as a typographer. Okay. Um, so it's, it's uh, typical graffiti writing what I'm doing, uh, still on canvas, on walls. So this is the, the essence of graffiti, I, I think. Dime is one of the early adapters of graffiti and urban art. He is also a passionate collector, who has started to archive the development of the art scene in Hamburg. In 2021, is about to release an incredibly deep book about graffiti in Hamburg, from the perspective of the artists, who were there when it happened. I started when I was 17, yes. uh, in school, so when I finished my school uh, with 19, I already um, earned my money with graffiti, doing graffiti jobs. So, cool. so at that time, um, uh, I, I also had the feeling that I'm a professional graffiti artist okay. and I w wanted to, to live my whole life. Don't do it because you want to make money with it or from okay. it. That, that's, that's, if, if this is your aim, uh, do graffiti because you want to make money with it or, yes. or make a living from it, yes. forget it. Don't okay. do that. But still, I may ask, you're making a living out of it. Yeah, but I, I love it. It's my passion. Okay. And at the beginning, when I really was 17, I never thought about it to, to make a living out of that. Okay. Because you have to you have to see, it was uh, uh, end of the 80s yes. in, in Germany, in Hamburg. Yeah. So, so th there, there was no market. If you find passion in your life, yes. that's something great. Uh, and later on, if you can make a living out of that, that's perfect. So this is your job, you're making a living out of it, but you still enjoy it. Yeah, I love it even more because, even more. yeah, of course, because okay. everything is more professional and, and uh, much more advanced. Okay. And I know what I can do. I know what I did already with um, 30 years of, of time. My passion beside of doing art and graffiti is also uh, archiving yes. everything around graffiti. So this is why we're also working on this book project. And right now we can also concentrate very well on, on that part. I'm always a big collector and everything. Uh, yes. Also when I was a, was a kid, um, but uh, later when I um, started doing graffiti, for me it was uh, necessary to to collect everything. I mean, everybody who was starting at, at that time uh, looked out for the for, for books about graffiti or uh, yes. if you find something in the newspaper and a little article about graffiti, I mean, that was something special in the 80s, end of the 80s or beginning of the 90s. So I collect uh, everything uh, in the, and in the last um, 10, 15 years, I, I try to, to bring it uh, also in the, the next uh, level to, to make it a little bit more professional as a as an archive about graffiti history, especially graffiti, but also the whole field of urban art. So we had the idea to, to make a book about the history of, um, of graffiti of here course. in Hamburg. Awesome. You cannot show the development of the graffiti scene if you don't talk about rap music, uh, hip-hop music, breakdance and everything is around. Okay. So we also capture this a little bit. So we have a wide overview about the time, especially in the 80s in Hamburg. Also how the city looks like and how, um, 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 how the society was back, back then. And then um, how it develops beginning at the 90s when the hip-hop scene had huge success, especially to the end of the 90s. Um, so we have this whole uh, development of, of the scene. We're going to see the OZM gallery. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome gallery. Wir versuchen es halt so zu präsentieren, dass du ganz direkt damit in Verbindung kommst und der Raum sich komplett um dich herum auflöst. 